This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Alrighty! Back to the dormitory again. Or maybe not. It's very difficult to use your time off effectively. In particular, when you're in a profession like mine, your holidays tend to be irregular and come with many restrictions on how you can spend them. It's hard to make plans ahead of time, and when you do, they'll be spoiled as often as not. As a result, I tend to use my free days to catch up on sleep, get an extra exercise, and read books. Means that I can do without the need of any advanced planning or preparation. The major side effect is that I've never been able to form much in the way of a hobby or interest to enliven my usual routine. My schedule may have changed once I entered the school, but my mildly pathetic recreational habits remain much the same. How? <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm working through a calisthenics routine in the dorm lobby. Amine is providing helpful commentary. Alright, alright, alright there, Makina. Look, the stage whispers and dramatic sighs are starting to get on my nerves. How about you just come over here and tell me to my face? I take it back. Do me a favor and stick to sniping behind my back. This is more infuriating than I've expected. Well, you don't have to watch. Tell me, what's more pathetic, doing calisthenic exercises early in Saturday morning, or watching someone do calisthenic exercises early Saturday morning? Amine squats down next to me as she speaks, her face full of pity. Give me a break here. It's better than sitting around doing nothing at all, don't you think? This woman can be such a pain in the ass at times. Bringing my calisthenics to a halt for the moment, I stand up and turn to face Amine. Alright then, as you're clearly a professional woman of leisure, Miss Amine, please teach me how exactly to make my delightful use of my Saturdays. I'm all ears. <laughs> Very simple question, Amine. How do you spend your own free time? え、そ、その、あの、いや、だから週末のアバンチュールを優雅に過ごしまくる人生の達人。素晴らしい余暇のエンジョイの仕方を伝授してもらおうと思ったんだが。Makana, your voice got a little weird there. Nice square mouth, Makina. <laughs> Don't ask me. So, how do you spend your weekends, Amine? Since you go around calling other people dull human beings, I'm sure you have some really interesting hobbies yourself, right? Spit it out. Something naughty? Flirting with the green grocers? Not really hobbies, but hey, there's worse fans for sure. I drop my hands abruptly on Domine's shoulders. I'm afraid you've made a serious mistake here, my friend. Please allow me to explain in detail. The fiends you just listed are not what we'd call hobbies. Firmly maintaining my grip on Amine as she squirms around violently, I stare into her eyes, plaster on a fake smile, and deliver a blow of truth. Those. Are. Chores. <laughs> Amine at the last, at last escapes from my grasp. Cla collapsing to her knees, she hangs the, her head in shame. 
Makina trots over to Amine's side and gives her back a few commiserating thumps. Dang, Makina, wow. Wow. Well, you're the one raising the girl. Discipline her as you see fit. Anyway, with this level of instruction, it doesn't seem likely that I'm going to find myself a hobby worth being proud of anytime soon. It's 10 in the morning. Michiru arrives on the scene. She's obviously been awake for several hours already. Probably thought her noise was a good excuse to be Nebi. By the way, Nebi would be the Kanzi, the Kanzi slain for someone who, is, with a desperate need to stick their nose into other people's conversations. I've been picking up a bit of this stuff from Mamane lately. Shumi? Yeah, I don't have anything particularly worthwhile to occupy my leisure time, which they decided to pester me about. <laughs> I understand what she means, but at that point, wouldn't it technically be a finger stand rather than an arm stand? Just shut up, Makina. Nobody wanted to hear that, Makina. Do we seriously have to change the conversation to this topic? I mean, you probably shouldn't have this conversation with, like, anybody. <laughs> okay, this is getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> the cum hiver voice. <laughs> oh, man. Michiru, you're so close to being my favorite. Sorry, but what exactly am I supposed to say here? Yeah, I agree. Just stop. That is a very accurate um, animation for Michiru just getting swallowed up by the ground. And then she gets arrested for bomb threats. What? <sighs> Try to keep it down, will you? Well, since I've come here, I guess my leisure time has been increasingly filled with this sort of boisterous, trivial chat. Even in that alone, I think I've gained something from entering this school. By the way, where's Sakaki? Considering the topic of our conversation, I don't think she'd be sticking around for long even if she did drop by, but I haven't seen our box cutter girl even once today. At a glance, her normal reserved seat next to the pillar at the edge of the lobby doesn't seem to have been disturbed recently. <laughs> Yeah, that's early any way you look at it. It's one thing if you're a compulsive morning runner like me, but most people aren't going to wake up at that hour on a Saturday. Grade schoolers with their radio exercises? Or old men doing Tai Chi for their blood pressure, maybe? <laughs> she has a different one for each day in the month. 
というか前にもこんな話したっけここで We did, now that you mention it. Amine's words bring to mind the previous Sakaki incident, set off after a round of scary stories in the lobby. That affair shed light on one aspect of Sakaki's true nature, but not a particularly larger revealing one, and I haven't gained any further insights since. Sakaki's private life is as mysterious as always. As soon as we get back from the school, she tends to lock herself up in her room. On the rare occasions she does poke her head outside, she actively evades any real attempt at conversation. Now there's a question. How about Sakaki? What does she do with her free time? Read. I'm not that caught up on it actually finding an answer to this question, but I can't deny that the contrast between the shameless openness of this group and Sakaki's cloak of secrecy leaves me slightly interested. Arikana. Makina, you need to stop bringing that up. Oh, you're one to talk. You were eager to talk about it. I'm not going to listen to Makina say that. Where didn't you go wrong? Stop sparkling your face. Yes, please. Please. どうして？サカキさんは本を読んでいるそぶりだけで、実際は読んでいないことがたたあります。決まった数ページを何度も繰り返したり、そもそもページをめくらなかったり、何日もずっと同じ本を読んでいたこともあります。Sachi's perceptive. You're observant, Sachi. Bizarrely so. はい。マキちゃんに言われて一時期ずっと観察しておりましたから。Makina! Really? Wait, is she talking about that time we investigated Sakaki? I thought our mission wrapped up after we succeeded in startling the girl, exposing her scaredy cat nature and generally making life miserable for her. But apparently Sachi was still on observation duty? Why are you hiring her to spy, though? I'm sure they are, so try not to waste them on stupid crap, alright? At any rate, it seems the bookworm theory is fairly dubious. Knife action, toka. Yeah, I hope so. Cutter, kara no ai na hasso yo ne, sore. Date, oka ni nai desho. Aruite ruko, suatte ruko, hon yonde ruko, cutter de hito ni kiritsute ruko shika. Ano ko no suwata te mite nai da mo. You forgot snarking. When you describe her that concisely, Sakaki really does seem quite the fearsome character, doesn't she? Ma, i i ja nai. Why do you keep bringing it back to this? I think we were talking about leisure time and hobbies here, but somehow the topic of discussion seems to have shifted to Sakaki's sex life. How did that happen exactly? No. Please don't. Sachi, please just start trying to live a normal life. Okay, Sachi, that's not necessary. Really, truly, not necessary. The last thing we need is this nonsense leading to something troublesome and making things awkward in the dorm. You already have, long well ago. If Sakaki wants to talk, then she'll go do so in her own time. It's not like I have any pressing need to know more about her, so I'm not going to pry when she wants to be left alone. Amine patters off toward her room. Sachi and Makina rise off the couch and follow suit. But before I can get up myself, Michiru sidles up with an inquiring look on her face. No, not particularly. I only stuck around because I'd been planning to continue my calisthenics, but Michiru ignores my answer to her question, draws her own conclusions, and forges ahead with this one-sided excuse for a conversation. I have better things to do with my time. You're awfully perceptive. If you want to talk down to me, I suggest you find a less self-indulgent hobby first, Michiru. Stop bringing this up! 
人生長いんだからそういう時期だってあるさ猿のように吹けて no. 次あ何か口に詰め込んで死なない程度に苦しめられるものとか落ちてないかしら Clawing furiously at her blonde hair, Michiru shrieks a desperate entreaty to the heavens. In the end, our discussion about Sakaki's private life was diverted into the usual headache inducing nonsense before we reach any real conclusions. Not that it was a topic of general, especially great interest to me in the first place. A few sets of push ups later, and I've mostly forgotten about the whole thing. Well, that. that skit sucked. Very much so. Guess I'm up a bit early. Probably because yesterday had been a fairly light day, I found myself awake earlier than usual. It's not like that's a bad thing, though. More time for a little calisthenics before my run? Hobbies, huh? As I run through my stretches, I find myself thinking about the conversation we had here yesterday. I guess dull is, in fact, an objectively appropriate word for someone who uses all of his free time to exercise. From a conventional viewpoint, training your body might well qualify as a hobby of sorts, but in my case, I'm maintaining a tool I need for my profession. Training is just a part of the job for me. So, yes, I basically have no hobbies. I think my personality is mostly to blame. Nothing really tends to capture my interest that strongly, or for that long. On that point, I may have something in common with Sakaki. By all appearances, she keeps everything and everyone at arm's length, mainly because she's decidedly uninterested in learning more. Come to think of it, didn't they say Sakaki... Hmm? With the sentence halfway out of my mouth, I sensed someone behind me and turned to face them. <laughs> oh, hey, Yumiko. Sakaki's standing by the entrance, staring at me in surprise. There's a bulky tote bag laying at her feet. I can tell at a glance that it's stuffed full of various items. I catch a glimpse of thin wooden objects sticking out of the top. <laughs> For what? At this point, the conversation from yesterday comes to mind again. The others mention Sakaki's habit of leaving the dorm early in the morning by herself. Apart from the large bag she always carries on these trips, no one has any clues as to what she's getting up to. Not that I'm particularly interested, but the flow of the conversation seems to call for a little light probing. You're up early yourself, Sakaki. Where are you off to? I tried to phrase the question pretty casually. It certainly didn't sound too pushy coming out of my mouth. I honestly was just trying to draw her into a little small talk, but... But she got mad. Sakaki purses her lips for a moment before she speaks. I mean, that's fair. The sentence she finally fires off somehow manages to be simultaneously sharp and blunt. What we've got here, Sakaki, is a failure to communicate. I asked, where are you off to? And you responded, what I do is no one's business. That's the answer to a slightly different question. You were probably feeling self-conscious about whatever it is you're off to go going off to do, and ended up mishearing what I was asking. <laughs> Sadly, it's not really a habit. I was born this way. Alright, that's fair. Alright, I won't ask you about this again. Sakaki's face fills with genuine confusion. She's clearly surprised by this ready concession to her demand. Yeah, see you later. Sorry to bother you. As Sakaki heads for the exit, I turn around and begin my calisthenics again. But as I'm sitting on the floor and beginning to stretch out my arms, I realize that I haven't heard her leave the building yet. What's up? You need something? Sakaki throws open the door in apparent irritation and immediately leaves the dorm. Hi, why were you eavesdropping? Why were you eavesdropping? I figured I knew why you were eavesdropping. How are you awake this early? What, were you watching? You've all got too much time on your hands. Within seconds of Sakaki's exit, the other four emerge from their hiding places around the lobby. Don't tell me you actually went out of your way to wake up early just so you could watch her leave. Amine does her best impression of a mischievous child caught with one hand in the cookie jar. It's kind of unpleasant to watch. Nanka, 
みんな考えることは同じだったんですねユウジがもうちょっと押せばユミコきっと言ってたよあの流れだったら Sorry, but I'm just not that interested. In the first place, if it was something Sakaki would feel uncomfortable talking about, I'm sure she would have responded differently to my casual question. That blunt refusal to talk probably means she has her reasons for keeping her activities to herself. I'm not so irres irrepressibly curious as to pester her on a sensitive topic, especially when she's not going to reveal anything, anyways. <laughs> Somehow I seriously doubt that, Makina. Oh, your grounds for this deduction? Amine, if you'd be so kind as to shut her up now. Very true. But also, she's not our child. No, I don't think there's any reason to put your ninja skills to the test today. If you want to know that badly, Michiru, go tailor yourself, one on one. Most likely. ミチルさまのお体が心配ですが、自らを選んだ道でしたら致し方ありません。覚悟します。やれっつってねえでしょ。勝手に覚悟完了すんじゃないわよ。大丈夫。命は一つじゃない。チルチルなら三つぐらい
Well, I guess being alone is the le less painful choice sometimes. 